Episode 22, A Man in Love. Don't wear clothes. Uh, sorry, this dress has been looked at by the young lady next to it, the shopping assistant apologized. The woman who snatched the clothes was none other than the Chanel lady. Upon hearing this, she raised her chin in displeasure. Has she paid for it? Well, not yet. If it hasn't been paid for, it's ownerless. I want this. Issue an invoice for me immediately. Chanel ordered with a tone of entitlement. As she spoke, the clothes were already in Ning Shi's hands. Chanel immediately got angry. Why did you snatch my clothes? Ning Shi's tone was nonchalant. Didn't you say that if it hasn't been paid for, it's ownerless? You can snatch it, but others can't? You? Chanel was about to explode when she suddenly stared at Ning Shi's face in suspicion. Ning Shi. Is it you? As if she had discovered something funny, Chanel grabbed her companion, Shen Shen, come and see who this is. The country bumpkin from the Ning family is actually here, trying to snatch clothes with me in a place like this. You say Ning Shi? How is that possible? Her companion, Shen Shen, looked at the woman in front of her in amazement. The woman had naturally black and curly hair, perfectly applied retro makeup, and a light purple off-the-shoulder dress. Although it wasn't a famous brand, it complemented her temperament. The entire person exuded a sense of disdainful arrogance and nobility, nothing like the timid and shy country girl from five years ago. It's her. I won't mistake that face. A country bumpkin is a country bumpkin, just changing the skin. Still wearing inferior skin. Chanel said confidently. Shen Shen carefully observed and confirmed that the face did indeed belong to Ning Shi. In fact, five years ago, Ning Shi had good looks but didn't know how to dress herself, always looking rustic. At the banquet back then, she wore a dress that was obviously a size too big, with outdated colors and even a fake skirt, leaving a deep impression. Why is she buying children's clothes? Haven't heard that she got married. Who knows which wild man she hooked up with. Maybe she's pregnant out of wedlock. Wasn't she dumped by Su Yen back then because she cheated on him with another man? Chanel mocked. These two women babbled on, and Ning Shi finally remembered who they were. Chanel was called Ng Fang Lin, and her companion was called Jean Xian Xian. Both were socialites in that circle, members of Ning Shu Elua's close-knit group. They were the ones who used to mock and tease her the most. Later, she heard that Ng Fang Lin had married well, and in the first year of marriage, she had given birth to a son for her husband. Hence, she became even more arrogant. Jean Xianxian also had an unmarried fiancé from a good family. Unexpectedly, she could encounter such trouble even in the children's clothing section. It seemed that these two didn't know that she had entered the entertainment industry. Ning Shi didn't want to argue with them in public, so she simply ignored them. She told the shopping assistant, Miss, help me with the payment. Although those two didn't look easy to deal with, Ning Shi had seen the clothes first. The shopping assistant quickly issued a receipt for her to swipe her card. However, there was a problem when she swiped her card. The shopping assistant's expression turned unpleasant. I'm sorry, Mississippi. Your card balance is insufficient. Ah. Uh, Ning Shi was dumbfounded. Only now did Ning Shi remember that she had upgraded her car's engine with a foreign import that month, so her card indeed didn't have much money left. Ng Fang Lin immediately burst into laughter at this situation. Haha, <laughs> this is hilarious. Trying to act rich when you have no money. A wild chicken will always be a wild chicken, never turning into a phoenix. Jean Xianxian also shrugged disdainfully. I thought studying abroad for these few years would make some progress. Turns out, a wild chicken will always be a wild chicken and can never transform into a phoenix. Ng Fang Lin looked at the shopping assistant triumphantly. Miss, can you give me this outfit now? Yes, ma'am. The shopping assistant was about to take the clothes from Ning Shi's hands. Ning Shi stopped her. Ng Fang Lin immediately shouted, What? No money and still want to act tough? Do you think this is your countryside? With one hand holding the clothes, Ning Shi took out a black card from her bag and handed it to the shopping assistant. Swipe this. Ning Shi initially planned to pay for the clothes herself as a gift for little treasure, but she didn't expect the situation to turn out so awkward. She really liked this outfit and the thought of something originally meant for little treasure being taken by someone like Ng Fang Lin made her feel uncomfortable. In the end, she had to take out the black card that Lu Tingxiao gave her to settle the bill. When Ning Shi pulled out the card, both the shopping assistant and the two women were stunned. The shopping assistant, having seen such cards before, immediately recognized it. 
Ying Fang Lin and Jin Xian Qian, although they hadn't seen the actual card, were familiar with these things due to their circle. They promptly identified it as the globally limited edition Infinite Overdraft Black Gold Card, also known as the King of Cards. This type of card had an extremely high threshold, with exorbitant annual fees and top-notch global services. It wasn't publicly available and couldn't be applied for actively. Instead, only 1% of Platinum card users were invited to apply, making it unattainable even with wealth. Those who possessed this card were top leaders, billionaires, and celebrities from various countries. Ying Fengling's face froze as she sneered, could it be a fake card? Miss, you should check it properly. Although the shopping assistant had seen it before, she was still cautious. She took the card, and after verifying it, she began the card swiping process. Ten seconds later, the shopping assistant immediately wore a 100% genuine smile, bowing deeply. Miss, it's all settled. I'll help you with the packaging. Ning Shi nodded. Thank you. Ying Fang Lin and Jin Xianxian stood there dumbfounded, looking at each other, their expressions as if they had seen a ghost. With the packaged clothes in hand, Ning Shi directly turned and left. Watching Ning Shi leave in her high heels, Ying Fang Lin gritted her teeth and said maliciously, Why are you so proud? You must be the mistress of some rich old man. Thinking that giving birth to his son could marry you into a wealthy family? Yes, one day, you'll be destroyed by the legal wife. Jin Xianxian chimed in. After leaving the children's clothing section, as Ning Shi descended the stairs, she passed by the men's clothing section. Hmm, it seemed to be the brand that Lu Tingxiao usually wore on regular days. The overall style was very much like Lu Tingxiao's, with mainly black, white, and gray tones, appearing aloof and restrained. After looking for a few moments, her gaze shifted to the adjacent young brand that had become popular in recent years. Compared to the men's section, the colors and styles were more youthful and lively. Ningxi touched her chin and suddenly wanted to buy a set of clothes for Lu Tingxiao as well. Women, originally intending to buy just a pair of shoes, would end up buying a bunch of other things like clothes, bags, and jewelry. So, after buying for little treasure, the desire to unify Lu Tingxiao's style became more and more irresistible. After three minutes of hesitation, Ning Shi made a decision, buy. So, she entered the store and directly bought the azure-colored suit displayed on the store model that matched the color scheme with little treasures. At the same time, in the president's office of the Lu Corporation, while listening to Lu Jingli reporting on work, Lu Tingxiao received two consecutive text messages. Upon checking, they were expenditure notifications from the bank. Ning Shi used his card? A satisfied smile appeared on Lu Tingxiao's solemn and cold face. Lu Jingli glanced at his older brother. Is it a message from sister-in-law? Lu Tingxiao replied, no. Not? That was strange. Lu Jingli immediately leaned over to take a look. Oh, it wasn't two bank notification messages? It was two expenditure notifications, not income notifications. Did he need such a sweet expression for this? Sometimes, a man in love is truly hard to understand. In the evening, carrying her spoils, Ning Shi headed straight to the Lu residence. Seeing the old butler watering the flowers at the entrance, Ning Shi quickly greeted, Grandpa Butler, where's little treasure? The old butler, dressed in a black tailcoat with a neatly tied bow tie, replied respectfully, Miss Xiao is back. Young master is in the garden, painting. Oh, painting? I won't disturb him then. What about Mr. Lu? The eldest young master is in his study. Okay, thank you. Ning Shi cheerfully headed towards the study. Watching the energetic figure of the girl, the old butler's mood was uncomplicated. After spending this time together, even with his guard up, he couldn't help but feel fond of this young lady. A beautiful woman with sweet words was bound to be popular everywhere. What was rare was her sense of propriety. She had never shown any inappropriate attempts towards the eldest young master, and she even paid little attention to her own appearance. Whether a woman had ulterior motives towards a man was actually quite easy to see. One could hide it for a day or two, but over time, it would be impossible to conceal. Similarly, it was easy to tell if a man had ulterior motives towards a woman. Others might not know, but he had seen it from beginning to end. So, he understood it the best. The eldest young master was clearly very fond of this girl. The room she lived in was personally designed by the eldest young master. Even the bed sheets, curtains, and the full wardrobe of clothes and jewelry were all hand-picked by him. 
Moreover, from the very beginning, he personally informed the kitchen of her eating habits. Every time she returned late, he made sure to leave food for her. There were numerous such details. Perhaps because she was the lifesaver of the little young master, the eldest young master's actions seemed a bit excessive. Actually, as long as the girl was of good character, if she could be together with the eldest young master, it wouldn't be a bad thing. Since she moved in, the eldest young master seemed to become more lively, and the little young master also became more cheerful. Having watched the eldest young master and the little young master grow up since they were young, he was naturally happy to see this. So, what he worried about now was not that Ning Shi had ill intentions, but rather that she might not have any. Behind the building, Ning Shi couldn't wait to share her spoils. She directly opened the door to Lu Ting Xiao's bedroom. Lu? As soon as she pushed the door open, all she saw was a sea of flesh. Lu Ting Xiao's hair was wet, naked, with a white towel wrapped around his waist. Crystal clear water droplets slowly disappeared into his well-defined abdominal muscles along the mermaid line. This scene made it impossible for people to avert their eyes instinctively. Therefore, Ning Shi's first reaction was not to close her eyes, but to widen them. Although she was averse to intimate matters, it didn't prevent her from appreciating beautiful things. Perhaps due to the intense stimulation she had suffered from betrayal in the past, she didn't even know when she had unconsciously deviated. Five years ago, she was traditionally conservative, blushing at the sight of a man in a tank top and boxers, not even giving a second glance to any unfamiliar man, no matter how handsome. It took about five seconds for Ning Shi to come back to her senses. She turned around with a swoosh, raised the hand holding the two paper bags, and covered her eyes. Sorry, sorry, I forgot to knock. Luo Tingxiao's low and hoarse laughter rang out. It's my fault. I forgot to lock the door. In fact, it wasn't that he forgot, but since she moved in, he had never locked the door again. Do you need something? Wait a moment, let me put on some clothes. The girl's gaze, which had been short but felt long, seemed to ignite his skin inch by inch like fire. Fortunately, she turned around in time, otherwise, his reaction might have lost control and revealed a flaw again. Lu Tingxiao was about to open the wardrobe to get some clothes when Ning Shi suddenly shouted, Ah, don't. Don't wear clothes. Unexpectedly, the girl made such a request, and Lu Tingxiao's expression visibly froze for a moment. Then, he focused on the girl's back and raised his voice slightly, why? Although he was quite willing to fulfill such a lovely request from the little girl. Realizing that her words might be misunderstood, Ning Shi quickly spat out, pfft. Don't get me wrong. I meant it literally, no deeper meaning. Uh, it seems the literal meaning is quite suggestive too, cough, anyway, what I mean is, I went shopping today and bought you a set of clothes. Do you want to try them on now? It saves you from trying and taking off clothes repeatedly later. Aren't I clever? Lu Tingxia's expression seemed to show a touch of surprise at her words. Bought for me? He thought she must have bought it for little treasure. Yes, but, uh, I used your card to pay. Ning Shi awkwardly touched her nose. Actually, I initially planned to use my own money as a gift for little treasure. Who knew I'd spend all my money on a motorcycle engine this month, so I had to use your card. Later, when I passed by, I found a set of adult men's clothing that matched the one I bought for Xiao Bai perfectly. I couldn't resist buying it. I see. Although it wasn't specifically bought for him, it was enough to make him feel pleased. I asked the salesperson, and if you don't like it after trying, you can return it. Try it quickly. Ning Shi urged. Without hesitation, Lu Tingxiao said, I like it. It was the first time she had bought clothes for him, so how could he not like it? You haven't even seen what it looks like. Ning Shi mumbled and took a step back, extending her hand to hand him one of the bags. Lu Tingxiao took the bag. You only bought for me and little treasure. Didn't you buy for yourself? Ning Shi sighed, oh, I'm a bit short of money. I'll wait until I get paid to buy something for myself. Lu Tingxiao was about to say she could use his card when Ning Shi took out a black card from her bag. Oh, by the way, here you go. It seems pretty cool to use. Today, I made a certain woman who wanted to snatch my clothes very jealous. Lu Tingxiao could only sigh lightly and change his words, you can keep it for now. I'm usually busy and don't have much time to shop for little treasure. If you see something suitable, just buy it. Of course, I'm also very willing to have you help me choose things. You trust my taste so much? After you've tried it, don't dislike it and take it off immediately. Ning Shi didn't stand on ceremony. She directly took back the card. 
I'll return it to you when I leave later. Hurry up and change clothes. I'll go out first. Just as she was about to take a step, the empty hand was suddenly pulled from behind. Ning Shi was startled and subconsciously wanted to turn around, but she remembered that Lu Tingxiao was still naked. She could only awkwardly maintain the posture of being pulled by him from behind. What's wrong? Lu Tingxiao slightly tightened her slender wrist. Ning Shi, little treasure's condition has improved a lot recently. He doesn't cling to you all the time anymore. He's very obedient and won't disturb you or affect your work. He just feels happy and reassured to see you every day, to wait for you to come home every day, and to know that you sleep next door. I know I don't have any reason to keep you anymore, but as a father who can do so little for little treasure, I really hope little treasure can be happy for a little longer. Three months, at most, stay for another three months, okay? When the time comes, if you want to leave, I won't force you to stay. During this period, you can treat this place as your own home. Do whatever you want without any worries. You can occasionally vent your anger and curse, eat durian with garlic, and stay out late drinking. I only have one request for you during these three months. Can you endure a little bit and not bring men home? Is that okay? The first part of Ning she's listening almost moved her to tears, but the latter part nearly made her spit out three liters of blood. The more she listened, the more she felt that Lu Tingxiao was a gentle and considerate wife while she was a scumbag husband who led a debauched lifestyle. Ning Shi had a mournful face. Lu Tingxiao, are you sure you want to talk to me in this state? Put on some clothes first, okay? Otherwise, it would be challenging for her to focus and think about things properly. All right. Finally, Lu Tingxiao's voice came from behind. Ning Shi felt a sense of relief and quickly rushed out of the room. Oh, Lu Tingxiao was definitely a natural speaker. His words touched her heart with every sentence, especially the part about little treasure. However, if she continued to stay here, even for three months, it might be a bit inappropriate. As she was contemplating, her legs suddenly went soft, and she looked down to see that little treasure had run over at some point, as usual, hugging her little legs and holding a painting in his hand. Ning Shi squatted down to hug the little guy. Baby, have you finished your drawing? Little treasure nodded. What did you draw? Can Auntie take a look? Little Treasure immediately handed her the painting. Ning Shi's eyes moistened after just one glance. The person in the painting was still her. The colors in this painting were incredibly bright and dreamy. She was lying on a small bed, holding a storybook in her hand. However, the perspective Little Treasure drew was from his position, lying beside her and looking up at her. In the entire painting, you could feel Little Treasure's happiness and satisfaction as he snuggled next to her, listening to her tell stories. Baby, you drew so well. The balance in Ning Shi's heart had completely tipped. She took a deep breath to calm herself, kissed the little guy's forehead, and then happily said, Auntie bought you new clothes. Do you want to try them on? Little Treasure's eyes sparkled as he nodded. As Ning Shi helped Little Treasure change into his new clothes and was about to go find Lu Tingxiao, he had just finished changing and walked out of the room. Ning Shi was quite confident about the clothes she bought for Little Treasure, but she had no idea how the ones for Lu Tingxiao would look. After all, she had never seen Lu Tingxiao wear anything other than black, white, or gray, and the color she chose this time was royal blue, which was quite vibrant. However, when she saw Lu Tingxiao after he changed, Ning Shi was completely dumbfounded. This, this was too fitting. She thought it might look awkward or mismatched, but she never expected the effect to be so good. It perfectly showcased his broad shoulders, narrow hips, and long legs. Most importantly, his solemn and dignified aura instantly became bright and cheerful. Even he looked much younger. The girl was stunned by the stunning transformation, and she couldn't help but express her amazement, Lu Tingxiao, how is it? Ning Shi nodded vigorously and said with a garlic smell, too handsome. I feel like you could go straight to be a groom with a big red flower on your chest. This girl's way of complimenting is quite unique. Little treasure, what do you think? Is your daddy handsome? Ning Shi asked the miniature version of Lu Tingxiao, holding back her laughter. Although little treasure didn't like his dad much, he had to admit that his daddy looked much better when he wasn't always in a black appearance. So, he nodded his head slightly, giving face. Ning Shi proudly snapped her fingers. I never expected my taste to be so good. Of course, it's mainly because Mr. Lu, you have a good foundation. You look handsome no matter what you wear. But I think, in your free time, you should wear more bright colors like this. It will make your employees feel better, and their efficiency will increase. 
Listening to the phrase, good foundation looks handsome no matter what, Lu Tingxiao couldn't help but hook his lips, hmm, if you see something suitable in the future, help me buy it.